everybody i hope you are doing well and welcome to the platform of code chef okay so today we're going to be solving the problem in code kalakia the difficulty level for this problem is cakewalk and the prerequisites required are your basic implementation skills so this is your educator ansh and i hope you like my video let's proceed to the problem statement okay so first of all it is my humble request to all of you to kindly read and understand the problem statement carefully before moving on to the solution now let me just summarize entirely what the problem statement is trying to say so basically the problem is saying that you are given a string s now the string s you have to convert it into another string into a basically a encoded format for that what you have to do is any space should be replaced by a an and so basically if there is a space in the string then it should replace by a character and if the alphabet is not a b c d e then they should appear at the end in the reverse order right example best friend gets converted into this particular string now let's see how best friend is getting converted into this string so if we see the example of best friend now what is happening is once we encounter b since it is one of the characters in a b c d e we will keep it as it is then once we encounter e Since it is one of the characters of A B C D E, we'll keep it as it is. S is not in A B C D E, so let's keep S somewhere different. Then T is again not present in A B C D E. F is not present. R is not present. I is not present. So we keep the other characters here. Another my E is present in A B C D E, so we keep E. My N is not present, and my D is present, so we keep D. Now this is the end of the string. So we got a starting character as B E D. Now what we have to do is the resultant of this particular string or the array that we got. What we have to do is we have to reverse the string and then we have to print it after this particular string. So reversing it will print N first, then it will print I, then it will print R, then it will print F, then T, then S. Hence the this is the exact output, right? That the string is out. as expecting so this is what the problem statement is saying that given a string you have to convert it into another string in such a format right so now how will we approach this kind of problem the approach will be exactly similar to what i just demonstrated so let us take this particular example to understand what will be the approach for a problem so first let me just write soldiers then write assemble right now the idea is simple what we'll do is we'll keep on traversing in the string so when we traverse at any individual character we'll check whether my character is in a b c d e or not so basically if my character is one out of a b c d e or not if it is not out a b c d e then i'll keep a separate array and i'll append the characters in that array so basically s is, s is not in a b c d e so i'll append s o is not so i'll append o L is not, so I'll append L. D is not. Okay, D is present, so I'll write D here as my starting character. Then I is not. Then E is there, so I'll write D or E E also. Then my R is not. My S is not. Now we encountered a space. So as you know, space should be replaced by a character and. So we'll print and. Then we'll again go to A, and as you know, A is also present in A B C D E. Then my S S is not. right then my e is present then my m is not then my b is present right so let me just write your e okay then it's m then it's b which is present here then it's l which is present here then it's e which is present here so you can see b e and e b e so d e and b e this is the string that we obtain in the first place and then what we can do is once you obtain this particular string either we can reverse this particular array and print it or we can just keep on popping the last index until the array is empty right so i'll keep printing l then i'll print m then i'll print s and so on as we get a l m s and so on the output for the required string right so this becomes the approach to solve this particular problem I'll get a complete clarity of this approach when you see the coding section. So let us proceed to the coding section. 
Okay, now let's try and understand the code for the following problem. So here I entered all my necessary header files. Then in my main function, I initialized my t as the number of test cases, right? And I input t according to the input format. Now each of my test case, I initialize my string s and I get input the string s according to the input format. Then I initialize stack because what I'll do is, as I discussed in the approach section, whichever characters are not equal to a, b, c, d, e, I'll keep them in my stack and then I'll keep on popping them in the reverse order such that my stack is not empty, right? So this is why I'm using stack. Now I showers in the string and then what I did is, firstly, if my string was space, then I simply see out it and, denoting that whenever my space comes, I have to print the and for character according to the output, right? Then, if my character was greater than or equal to f, that means basically it is not a, b, c, d, e, then I'll push that particular character in my stack, otherwise we'll simply see out s of i, denoting that one of these characters is in a, b, c, d, e, so we have to print it, right? After this entire loop is done, we'll, what we'll do is, now we generated our initial of the string. Now to print the remaining of the string, I have to reverse my string. So I'll traverse in my stack while my stack is not empty and I'll see out my top of the stack and I'll keep on popping the stack as soon as I print the top of the stack and this is the way we can generate the string in reverse in the stack right and after that I'll print a backslash n for the test cases. So this becomes the code for this particular problem. Now let us run our code on the sample test cases to understand whether everything is working correctly or not. So as you can see, we got the exact answer according to the output format. Now let us submit our code and the actual test cases to see whether this code is working perfectly or not. Okay, so as you can see, we got the correct answer for the following problem. And yes, this becomes a valid approach to solve this particular problem, right? Okay, now let us discuss what mistakes people can make in solving this problem. So here, the main observation was that nothing, but you can just simply check for the characters A, B, C, D, E and your spaces and print whatever the required output is according to them. Finally, the rest of the string can be simply appended in a stack and can be simply printed in a reverse fashion. So I think if that particular observation was clear, the code is quite straightforward and simple. I don't think there are less chances of making mistakes in this code. This is the learning you get from watching my video. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.